<laughs> All right, here we go. Chicken's gonna help us out on this one, man. We're gonna go over LL37, antimicrobial, antiviral, and antibacterial uh, peptide. All right, so let's check it out, man. Let's see what we got here. All right, let's see. LL37, all right. It's a catholicinic, as is a catatonic antimicrobial peptide, an AMP, which is highly conserved and terminal structural domain. Catholin is linked to C-terminal peptide with antimicro antimicrobial activity. Whatever the fuck that means. I don't know, man. But here's what it does, man. So people with, like, mold toxicity, like, this is the one you want, man. So antibacterial, fungal, viral. Also, if you have, like, an infection or if you have some kind of major surgery, you're like, bro, this is the one you want to be on, right? This covers everything. All right, so here's your doses, man. There's two different ones. Carl of Elnor, the superhuman radio, recommends 125 micrograms per day injected subcutaneously for 50 days, followed by a two to four week break before a second round if necessary. Dr. William C's, he's the godfather of peptides, recommends 100 micrograms injected subcutaneously twice a day, once in the morning and once at night for four to six weeks. So let's see what that looks like. All right. Let's check your fat. All right. Here's my notes. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Dr. William Seed's protocol. So I like doing stuff more, I like microdosing stuff more often. Uh, so this is uh, once per day, uh, Carl Lanar um, at 125 and micrograms and Dr. William Seed's, you're doing twice a day, so you're getting 200 micrograms a day, right? So, <clears throat> Like I said, so this is another weird one where see most of 99%, 90% of my peptides I do one cc and mix, mix them all just one cc of backwater. This is another one that the dosing is so small and, it's, and it comes in 10 milligrams that you have to add more bacterial stat water, even with this one. So with a 0.33 cc syringe, and we're gonna inject it uh, two units twice a day. All right, so two units is, is hard, right? So we're gonna mix two. C you can't you can't mix four cc's in those little vials. It's it's too much. Actually, I think I think they do hold four cc's, but man, you're just pushing it, and it's gonna be really hard for you guys to get that in there. So you know what? If you got four cc's in there, then you can use four units. But don't worry about it. We're gonna use two cc's of back water, two hundred units. All right, into the thing. Let's go to the. Let's go to the peptide calculator. Remember, I'm going to put the calculator in my comments, and then you guys can, if you guys have any questions on any kind of strength you get, you guys can do your own calculations online with peptide calculators. There's all different kinds of ones online. So the dose is 100 micrograms, right? 0.1 milligrams. Remember, there's 1,000 micrograms in one milligram, and there's 1,000 milligrams in one gram. So 0.1 is 100 micrograms. Our dose strength is 10 milligrams in this file. Here we're gonna put two cc's in, right? There's our dose, two units to get 100 micrograms. Let's do it. Let's go over to the wet chicken and the mixing area. There we go, because I'm so good at making videos, you know? All right, let's see. How do we do this now? All right. BHB supplies, like I said in the last video, I like these ones, man. These are my favorites. I've tried a bunch of different kinds on Amazon. Get them Amazon, man. 18 bucks, 20 bucks, easy for a hundred pack. Your one cc's and your 0 .3, 0 .3, these are necessary. You have to have these, all right? So we're gonna put two of these into here and then we draw it up here. Let's do it. This is our LL37 right here. This is the, so this is 10 milligrams of the dry drug. So when people tell you, yeah, well, what's your dose? Yeah, I'm taking uh, uh, six, six um, cc's or, or six units. Or like, like that's not a dose. Everything is always dosed in milligrams. All right. 
sterilize, always sterilize the surfaces. Remember, we have to take, we're taking a hundred out of here, so we have to add a hundred units of air, so one cc, into the backwater. Can't go wrong with a little extra wiping with alcohol preps. All right, should be a, some of them have vacuums in them, some of them don't. All right, this one doesn't have a vacuum. All right, so. Now we just need one more. We're good to go. It's that easy. Yeah, remember on most of my, most of my videos, man, you guys always ask me a lot of drug calculations. I don't mind helping you guys out or cross-checking against me. I learned all that stuff in paramedic school. All right, let's do it again, man. Let's do it again. Two cc's. So you see, look at this one. All right, so check this out. Here we go. This one didn't have a negative vacuum in it. So look, I push it down. Look, now it goes up. See how it pushes the, the plunger back up? Check that out. So now we have an opposite problem, right? So now we got two cc's of air in here that's pressurized, right? So best way, you know, like I said, the best way to unpressurize everything is just pull the top off. Boom. That's it. Now, now it's equalized in there. Done. There you go. Remember, cap needles this way. Done. All right. So here's your LL37. A lot of bubbles in here right now. So I'm not going to mix this up just quite yet. Looks like it must dissolve, but I'm going to let that settle down. But basically, to finish off the video, we're going to take our 0 .3, 0 .3 cc syringe and there we go. Okay sterile syringe and basically here's going to be your dose let me see if I can get this on the camera all right so these this these are your smallest needles right here okay look five look there's five so these are your smallest needles come on focus basically Okay, here's five, right? What the fuck, man? All right, sorry. <laughs> All right, anyways. Okay, look, there's one right here, and here's two CCs. All right, and five is right, right there. So that's all you're pushing of this. So this is gonna be twice a day, one, two, so in one day, you're gonna be using four units. One, two, three, four, okay? So I like to use a needle like three times because then they start getting dull. So I would personally, hmm, I pull this up to one, two, let's see. Maybe four, four is not too bad, four times on a needle. So I might draw this up to eight, eight units and then so yeah, I'll have used this needle four times. So, so that'll be two units. 
wait, yeah, see, 10, yeah, that'll be right here. Two units, two units the first day. That's two times I use a needle. Two units, and then two units second day. So that'll be four times I use this one, and then get rid of it, because then the pokes start to hurt. And that's it, man. There you have it. Done.